News flash! News flash! <laughs> okay, we, we got uh, some news here. This is uh, Jesse and Dennis, Pickett Street Properties, and um, we've got kind of a, a late breaking development here we'd like to share with you. So, Jesse, tell us what's happening. Well, you know, it's, and I don't know that I have a clear picture of this, but I'll tell you what our research has shown this week, and that is um, Recon Trust is a trustee. On a, they're a national trustee, right? And they are in trouble. Okay, so now tell us a little bit about Recon Trust and a trustee. But let, let's explain that really quick, just as kind of how that relationship works. All right. So if you, if I saw paying on my mortgage, and uh, eventually I'm going to get this notice taped to my door, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a notice of trustee sale, and it's going to be filed by a trustee. And so what a trustee is, is it's supposed to be an independent third party hired by the lending institution. And I want to state emphasis there on independent. Yeah, independent. So either you know Bank of America, or Freddie Mac. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even sure who's the servicer is the one that's probably responsible because they're the servicer of the loan. Right. And so if a loan's in default, they have to hire a trustee to file to go through this trustee sale process. Right. Um, so let's just say Bank of America hires Recon Trust to put a home through the foreclosure process. Cool. That's no problem. No they do that all right. the time, right? Yeah. Uh, apparently, the attorney generals of many states don't like it if you are using an independent third party and, and you, you are to own them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smell conflict of interest? <laughs> yeah. So apparently, and you know, so I don't know if it's a homeowner or what happened, but you know, someone figured out, hey, Bank of America owns Recon Trust, right? And they're using Recon Trust a lot on these to foreclose uh, on property, pretty much exclusively. And uh, so now what's happened, and we can trust in Washington State, one thing that's very clear is that if you are a trustee foreclosing on homes, uh, one of the Washington State laws is that you have to have a physical office in the state, the state that right. people can visit to right. make a late payment or to talk to somebody about the foreclosure process. Right. Recon Trust does not have that in Washington State. And so Attorney General Ron McKenna has filed a lawsuit against Recon Trust. And joined how many other states on that? Jeez, I, I can't say off the top of my head, but I would say at least 12 other states. Yeah. And um, so there is an injunction. I don't know if there's an injunction or not against Recon Trust. I can tell you that on the auction side, we have seen Recon Ooh. Trust postpone. Major, major contraction there. <laughs> postpone all of their short, all yeah. of their trustee sales. Yeah. All of them. In yeah. a weekend. There, all of them. Like major, I think you call it sphincter pucker. Okay, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yeah, there's well, all of a sudden there's something happened that, that they've shut off the pipeline. And I, so I don't know exactly how this plays into our investment pool. Right. But other than to say that if uh, we see a Recon Trust filing going to auction for Friday, yeah, there's a very good chance that is not going to happen. There's a very good chance that yeah. auction is going to get postponed until this mess between Bank of America and Recon Trust is figured out. And so maybe that's the thing to know is that if you're a homeowner and you've been filed on, you have a Bank of America service loan and um, you've gotten a notice of trustee sale and the name on that notice is from Recon Trust, Trust. you yeah. may want to go talk to an attorney. And I, I'm going to suggest that you might want to even give a ring to Rob McKenna. And you might want to, uh, you may not, you know, there's a very good chance that that short sale or that trustee sale will get postponed and it could be in limbo for quite some time. Yeah, and so absolutely. as investors, what we're seeing is that anything that has a Recon Trust filing on it, um, we're not expecting that to actually go to, go yeah, to it's, it's which is an interesting uh, business model to have a trustee that can't foreclose on homes. Yeah, I, I'm wondering how it's going to work for them. But we have a we have a silver lining to that for us anyway. True, because we can just yep. go after all those filings and talk to those homeowners about doing a short sale. I think. Um, so I think they're gonna have some time. <laughs> In fact, I, what here's the what I mean by that. I have um, a friend of mine who is being foreclosed on, and she really. I mean, we were trying to get her to be foreclosed on because they've right. done the bankruptcy. They stopped paying. I don't know, three years, years ago. Two three years ago. Yeah. They just want to be done with this process, and Bank of America will not foreclose on them. And so I called them up, and I talked to them, and and we got the issues figured out. It basically was off their radar completely. Yeah. And so um, that's not auction, uncommon, actually. By not the way. at all. <laughs> auction came up late October. Mm -hmm. Day of auction, it um, got postponed. 
and my friend called Bank of America and they said, oh, we have to start over with a new trustee. Guess who the trustee was? Rico Rico Trust. Trust. I guess. Yeah. And so now they have to start over that process. So the, the trustee sale process, you stop paying your mortgage. Um, as soon as 30 days after that, you can get a notice of default. As soon as, no sooner than 30 days after that, you can get a notice of trustee sale. Right. And that says 90 days from now, we're gonna sh- we're gonna foreclose on your home. We have the right to foreclose on your home. Well, that's 120 days about, I mean, anywhere from 90 to 120 days right. that these homeowners just bought that they can now try to do a short sale instead. Right. And that's something to think about. Absolutely. So. Keep that in mind. Uh, give us a ring if you're in that position, and we'd be happy to, to uh, look over your scenario and, and be able to help you out. And I'll try to throw a, a link um, below this post about um, Attorney General's filing against Recon Trust so that you guys can access that information and it's not just me spouting off. Right. And if you have questions or your thoughts or ideas or any knowledge about this topic because it's a little convoluted, uh, throw it in the comments and we'll. Um, We'll we'll hit follow up for sure. You bet. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.